Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keenan Lafferty, and today is October 28th, and this is the Kane and Gale Show, episode 113, where we learn to be better artists, and it's Monday, so that means we get to work on Emma, our beloved comic about the little girl versus the walking dead. But before we get into that, we need to go to the Emma lovely lane, because we've gotten this new awesome submission from Alicia Watley, and it is Nico, it is the awesome, like, realistic rendering of Nico to go with the uh, older version of Emma. I basically drew Emma in this style, and Alicia took it upon herself to draw this awesome rendition of Nico. So thank you, Alicia, and thank you to everyone who has been submitting your awesome work to the Emma Comic Online Facebook page. For those of you who have not decided to join us, please consider doing so. I'll put the link down in the description on YouTube. All right, and for people watching live, you probably know about it anyway. Okay. So what we're going to be working on today, for those of you who saw the little teaser that I put up there, we're going to be working on adding final touches to the comic because we are within range of the end, right? We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? We uh, each part of each part of Emma is like its own little journey, right? And I, I'd like to compare it to sort of imagine you're taking a road trip. You know, for me, it would be maybe from Utah to California. The drive takes about 11 hours, 11, 12 hours, depending on how fast you're driving and uh, if you're able to just go the whole way there without taking a nap on the side or whatever, because it is a tough thing to do. It's tough to sit in the car for 11 hours without the threat of falling asleep and running off the road into a ditch. But um, it's interesting, the, the emotional journey that you go through, uh, a, like a, a long journey like that, much like creating a part of the comic, is uh, the beginning, it's like you're all fired up, you're all set to go, you're ready, and you're like, yes, this is going to be great, two issues in the can, all right, let's make number three. And so you start with all this positivity and excitement, and then after a little while, it's like things start to kind of drag on, you know, like there's like distractions over here, there's things that, you know, demanding your attention, you got to like work so you can actually get some food for the little amount of expenses that you actually have, right, you actually have to take care of those, right, so you're trying to balance everything, you're trying to balance everything, and then eventually you hit this point where you're just like, oh no, like, maybe this isn't going to work. Maybe, maybe I just suck. Maybe this part just sucks and I should just stop. Maybe I should just stop making the comic, right? And, but, surely enough, if you push through that part, you come to the point of reckoning. You come to the point where you realize, yes, this was in fact the best idea I've ever had. And we're going to go ahead and finish this and we're going to release it once again. Okay, so anyway, enough blabbing. Today, basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm probably going to be showing you guys the first few pages completely finished. Well, I mean, completely finished in the fact of, you know, there's not a lot of dialogue or balloons that we have to add. Uh, it's mostly just going to be adding credits, sort of like, um, sort of like, uh, like a movie, right? I think this is something, in fact, I want to pull that up right now. There's something that I did in issue one, part two that I really enjoyed, and that was this. That was basically where I took the, I took the uh, opportunity to do these types of things, like these titles within the comic. And there's like these shots where there's no dialogue at all. It's just like the full, it's like full pictures, and there's just stuff happening. And I feel like this is something that was really, this is what Emma was designed to be at the beginning. And I feel like over time, especially once I started issue two, I was like, oh, let's just get right into it, right? It's like, we did the whole setup thing, we did the whole movie shot, and the silent pictures thing, and the other one. We don't need to do that again, right? But then I realized that issue one, this part of issue one is literally still one of my favorite parts, and it's because it's all visual. There's no, there's, there's sound effects, there's no talking, there's no nothing. So I feel like this is a real strong point that I wanted to go back and capitalize on once again. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be adding in these captions, and I'm going to show you guys how I designed these first few pages to actually have no dialogue. It's actually just going to be completely uh, silent, silent pictures. And we're just going to add in our credits, such as created by, written by, line art by, the awesome people who are helping me out. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into that. And to get started, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work with like a fairly light color. I always imagine, um, you know, just like white titles. White titles just seem to work really well. And let's go ahead and pull out our awesome font, our awesome Emma font, aka zero and zero is. That is our uh, font of choice. Let's go ahead and kick the size of that up. Whoa, not that big. Let's go like 24, 30. 
Okay, so let's just do the whole created by. And it is centered, so that's good. Created by myself. Okay, that's not important. That's not important. Who gives a crap about that? Let's get to the important people. <laughs> like the people that did the awesome line art, which is Alicia Watley, again, and Ozzy Burke. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Yes, in fact, these lines are not mine. I didn't do, like, I just drew the blue pencils. But then the awesome line art, the final product that is being seen by you out there, it was uh, brilliantly done by the amazing Alicia Watley and, oh, and Ozzy. Burke, and I really hope I spelled your names right. Not going in like that. Now let's see. Um, let's see. Is there a way that I want to do this? It's a little bit cleaner. Maybe. Uh, mm, is there an and sign? Does this have an and sign? It does, but it looks like crap. Hmm. Do we want something more like this? Hmm. No. Maybe just like that. Maybe you don't need the and. Line art by Alicia Watley. Ozzy Burke, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and put a stroke on it. Stroke it. Stroke them. See if that gives us what we want. Stroke usually looks kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe any more like a cast shadow. Hmm, maybe, let's see, uh, drop shadow, <laughs> this is the fun part where you get to see me play around with just uh, the different blending styles and see what we like here. How did I do it in the first one here? I think what I did was I just, I had it so it was almost part of the scene and I kind of liked that, like like this is kind of like laying on the floor, I don't know, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of gimmicky, to be honest. It's it's okay, but I don't know. I don't know if we need it. I'd just rather have it just like, boom, right there. Just like slap right in your face. You cannot miss it. You cannot miss the amazing people that were a part of this. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the shadow nice and noticeable, much like that. I think that's pretty good. Now, I also want to make this a little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! That looks good. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Line art by. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Uh, when you read comics, do you like to see the word line art or do you like to see inks? Like, some people call it line art, other people call it inks. You know, I, I don't know, like, if you guys have a preference. I like line art. I think line art people will get that, because it's basically the line art you're seeing. That's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing. All right, so once I get that thing figured out, once I get uh, them looking good, I'm going to go ahead and copy their layer style, right, because I'm awesome like that, and I like to save time. I like to cheat and save time. Let's go ahead and paste that right there. Boo yeah! Oh. That looks really nice right there. Or should it be right there? Right there, right there. No, not there. Definitely looks good there. I don't know which one I like more. Uh, behind the mountain or in the sky? Alrighty then. I think I'm going to do it in the sky. It gives it a little bit more space to breathe. And I don't know why people, like, like I, nobody ever calls my phone until I'm doing a show. Like, I don't understand that. I don't understand why that happens. It's prime time. 8 o'clock is the time to make a phone call, right? Uh, not any other time of the day. Okay, line art by Alicia Watley, Ozzy Burke. Awesome. Let's go ahead and save that out. What the heck is that thing? What is that? What is that coming from? I will find it and I will kill it. Is that glass? It is! Why is that there? That's weird. Anyway, okay, 
So let's save that out. That page is looking good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next page. Yay! I'm so excited! Adding titles! Making it all official and stuff. Looking good! Okay, so let's save that out. And let's go ahead and pull up page two. <gasps> this is your little sneak peek. Here's your little sneak peek. Okay, that's, that got weird. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to right here. Because this panel was where I was planning on having David's name. David, for those of you who don't know, is the writer, the awesome writer of the comic. And he has been so gracious as to let me use his amazing writing style and his awesome ideas and put them in the comic. Steal them for my own selfish needs. Uh, written by... He's my good buddy. He's my good buddy. For those of you who have been watching the show for quite a while, David was the guy that I was, his house, his parents' house was the one I was living at right before I got the job at Riot. Basically, I was the starving artist once again. I didn't know what the heck was going to happen next with my life. And David was there to once again come to my aid. So he's a very special man. Okay, so we need 24. For some reason that looks small. Why does that look small? Is that how small I made the font in the other one? I don't remember that. If that's how small the font is on the other one, I need to make it bigger. Oh, yeah, it is. That's weird. Why does it look weird to me? Hmm. Um. That kind of makes me want to make it bigger. But it looks it looks weird when it's big there. I doesn't look actually no it doesn't. Hmm. Maybe try aligning it to the right. Because I want the names to be big. I really do. Oh, that kind of does look nice. I like that aligned to the right like that. I dare say I like it. Okay. I don't want my name to be too big, though, because then it's going to disrupt the composition! That is unacceptable. Okay, so let's, let's imagine. Let's imagine we're reading this, right? We're on the side, we're reading this. Okay, that looks good. I feel like this font might be too crazy. It might be too messy. I don't know. Let's try the comic font. Let's see if that looks weird. Decisions, decisions. Ooh, that actually looks really nice. I like that. Mmm. Nah. Nah. Make it nice and big. Okay. I think this is good. This is a happy medium. That's our happy medium right there. And what size are we working at right there? 33, 36. Gosh, I can never make up my mind. Hmm. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I feel like I'm ruining it. And what uh, size of spacing are we working with between these? Auto? Oh, it's on auto. Excellent! So I'm not messing it up. It's always a pleasant surprise when I'm learning I'm not messing stuff up. Okay, so I'm going to go with that for now. Rather than you guys just watch me change the font size over and over again. We're actually going to move on. We're going to move on to something else. Let's go ahead and let's just make this title look good because this is way too small. This is way too small. David's a big guy, so eh, might as well just make his name big. Let's make his name big. 
Make him nice and big. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> because it's like... Hmm. It, it, like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me that his name's big. He deserves, he deserves to have a big. Writing is not an easy job, right? Without a, without a good writer, comic, it's nothing. Okay, so that's at 48. Yeah, that's way too small. There we go. Cool. All right, David, you got a big name, my friend. You got a big name. Done. Oh, and another thing I want to talk to you guys about is remember back when we were working on issue two, issue two part one. Um, <laughs> you guys are typing in all caps over here. Grab my attention. Okay, but um, in part three, remember how I was doing these parts right here, and I was doing I was drawing these uh, sound effects and all the panels in the beginning. And at first, I was like, oh man, well. I guess we could kind of have the, the sound effect in the back of all of these. But you know what I didn't realize? Was that I should have just left it silent. In fact, when I go back and edit this page, I'll probably just take these sound effects straight out because it doesn't need it. It really doesn't need it. This is the part where basically your mind would hear it. Your, your mind would hear it and it almost adds more uh, drama and impact if it's silent. So uh, when I go back and make those changes, I'm probably going to do that. Probably gonna change that up a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see how it looks. But anyway, um, I feel like these opening panels, just they have so much more impact when they're they're silent, and it allows you to feel like you're there with the character. And I almost imagine it as you're, you're watching a movie, right? And while the credits are rolling, there's there, it's all like, it's like the music, right? You'd be hearing the music at this point. Maybe the sound effects would be really kind of dulled down, but it's really focusing on getting you immersed and allowing your imagination to look at these pages, look at these images, and just figure it out for yourself, right? Like, hear it for yourself. So, um, yeah. yeah. I like that. Okay, now this is saying it's bugging me. Nope, going back. All right, never mind, David. Let's just commit. Commit. <laughs> David gets his big name. All right. Um, oh, well. Um, another thing I was gonna do was on page three. I was actually thinking about having more credits, but I just realized I think I just eliminated that. I eliminated the need for credits on page three, <laughs> and maybe it would be too annoying to have credits on page three. Yes, motion comic with legit sound effects. That would be awesome. That's what I'm going for. Okay, did I do this right? Yes! Okay, yeah, because this is also really quiet here. This is also silent. And uh, originally I was thinking about having some more... having some more uh, credits here. But I don't think that would be right. I mean, even if we did, it would be like story... Development. Yeah, it looks really cheesy. That, that looks really cheesy. Did I even spell that right? Oh, development. <laughs> I was like, that just looks like crap. <laughs> it's because you spelled the words wrong. If you don't spell the words right, it doesn't look good. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, John Doe. Jane Doe. Uh, Bob Smith. How does that look? With the lair style. Oh, that looks so ugly. Oh, good thing I, didn't, I decided not to do that. That uh, would have looked like crap. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah. I don't know exactly what we're going to do now. I guess I could go ahead and show you guys page four. I can go ahead and show you guys page four. Usually I like to do that. And we've been going for about 20 minutes. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go to page four, and we'll start. We'll start adding in some balloons. Okay, you guys can get even more, even more of a sneak peek as to what the comic is going to be. And I'm super excited, guys. Right now, the schedule or the release schedule is looking like it's going to be at the end of the week. So I'll let you guys know, give you some updates on that. But I am working on the final pages this evening. 
All I have to do is just add in, you know, the bubbles, the chat bubbles, and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, shouldn't be that, shouldn't be too bad. Go ahead and pull up the script here. Go ahead and pull up the cam, that way you guys don't get an eyeful of the script and spoil the whole issue for you. That would be bad. That would be really bad. Okay. Um, we also need... We also need... Uh, the balloons. Balloons, balloons, balloons. There we go, there's the balloons. Mm-hmm. All right, good. I got this up on the other side here, so I don't spoil it for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump back into this. Now let's go ahead and lay in some bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, Michael bubbles. All right. So this is pretty easy. Now that I have all the bubbles in their own document, all I have to do is simply drag in what we want here. This is soft balloon. Oh wait, before we do that. Um, I need to make sure we are the topmost layer, otherwise it'll mess everything up. All right, tippy topmost layer. Go and drag in a soft balloon. Soft balloon here. Um, let's see here. Soft balloon, yes. And then this guy is going to be saying in the awesome unmasked font. Where is our unmasked font? Uh, oh man, it's been so long. It's been so long since I've drawn some freaking, or I mean written some freaking words in here. Okay. And let's go ahead and make sure that's nice and dark. Yeah! Ha! <laughs> yes! That's what he's saying. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to lay in our bubbles. Oh, or maybe I should, he shouldn't be asking. He should just be saying password. Password. Ha! Yeah! It's more of a statement. I like it. Now we need to get Tank's specific bubble. Tank has edged bubbles because he speaks with authority and he has more edginess in his voice. But, however, at this point, he's actually kind of kind of looking to the side. He might be a little unsure of himself. So maybe we'll stick with Soft Balloon for Tank as well. These are the things you like to think about. So Tank is going to be saying... Alright. Uh, he's going to be saying... Come on, man. Come on, man. You have to do this every time. Now, what do you say, come on, or what do you say, come on? Come on, man. We have to do this every time. Perfect. I don't know if I would imagine Tank saying, come on. I don't know if he would say that. He speaks with true authority, so I think he would split those two words. One man, there we go. Why is the spacing looking weird to me? The spacing between the words looks really weird. Yeah, I'm just freaking out. No, that's fine. Oh man, do we have to do this every time? Oh no, it's the spacing between these things. That's what's bugging me. This is supposed to be 13. Aha! Aha! Brilliant! Ah, there we go. Ha! <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. I almost, I almost lost it right there. <laughs> People say, ain't no one with no, ain't no one with mutton chops talk rounded. <laughs> That's the sun dancer. Of course it's you saying that. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. Do we have to do this every time? I'm also becoming a, a big fan of just going back through and like bolding words. 
Um, this is something that's very popular in a lot of American comics. It just, it just helps you to understand, like, the enunciation of the sentences. Because it's different between, you know, it's like, come on, man, do we have to do this every time? And then, come on, man, do we have to do this every time? So, I really like that. It's almost subliminal that you'll pick it up when you're reading it. But uh, I really like that stuff. And there's something about just dropping in words. Once you drop words into uh, the comic, it just looks so legit. Like I love the feeling of just dropping in, dropping in the words. Makes me feel so good. Okay, um, so this guy, you know what would be interesting actually is because usually it's tank talking with the authoritative kind of um, edge boxes. Let's let's give this guy the power, right? Let's give the power to the guy that's asking for the password. I think that would be really funny and a good juxtaposition. Yeah, so we'll give him that there, and then we'll also give the edge balloon here as well. I think that would be really good. Okay, so the next thing this guy is saying here is no password, no entry. By the way, guys, we're going to go ahead and move into question catapults as I do this final uh, chat bubble. <laughs> we're going to do question catapults. So please cast your questions. Any questions you have about Emma, doing comics, any of that stuff, my favorite type of, uh, uh, of tea, what I ate for lunch this afternoon, I can't remember. But please, any questions you have, please ask away. Ask away! And this guy is saying, no password, no entry. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we need to go back to regular. Why did it go back to bold? I don't understand. Oh, it is. Never mind. No password. No entry. <laughs> now, do I want to? Nope. That looks good. Let's just keep it like that. No password, no entry. So let's go ahead and bold those so we read it as no password, no entry. Love it. Go ahead and shrink that sucker down. So we've got the proper amount of air in our balloon. That's another thing. Just make sure you have proper amounts of air. Give these people air. Uh, Jessica Pixel is asking, when did you come up with the comic? Or when did you come up with the idea for the comic? Um... <laughs> The idea that I had for the comic actually came many, many years ago. It was probably about seven years ago. Um, and it was when I just did like a, it was sort of like a gift art for my friend. And for those of you who watched Can Kill episode number 100, you will uh, get a little bit more insight into the background and the backstory of, of how I came up with the idea for the comic. So if you're watching this now and you haven't watched Can Kill show number 100, go ahead and check that out. It's really cool. But uh, yeah, this is an idea I've had for a long, long time. Just basically of a little girl fighting zombies, right? That was literally the story of the comic. And it was going to be really boring. There was no there was no tank. There was no biker gang. There was no Nico. Actually, there was Nico. There was Nico. And Tank was kind of there, but Tank is kind of like developed into a really awesome character. Same with Clem. Like I'm really, really digging uh, these characters a lot. And uh, a lot of these ideas came from just me discussing the ideas with my friends and uh, family and just like people who are really interested and uh, awesome artists like you out there who send me ideas and such uh, things like that you know concepts and just fan art a lot of really good ideas I've been getting to put into this comic have actually been from fan artists so I really appreciate that you guys are willing to contribute and you're excited to be a part of a comic that is being made like a comic that is becoming right we're making we're making a baby together as sexy as that is. Making a comic, baby. <laughs> All right. Yes, I, I love the Emma Darius fan art. That's actually one of my favorites to this day, the Emma Darius. 
We, we might have to have a, a part where Emma dons some, some awesome armor and chops up some zombies. All right, one more question, and then we're done. Uh, <laughs> Sundancer is asking, can I draw Emma with tanks, mutton, chops? No, I'm sorry, Sundancer. I'm going to leave that to you. In fact, you should do that and please submit that to the Facebook. I'll feature it if you do. Uh, last question that's not a troll, uh, not a troll question, is uh, what is my favorite type of tea? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, my favorite type of tea is uh, chamomile. Ca chamomile. Cam whatever you want to call it. Cam camel something. And it's really good. I like it with a little bit of tea. It just relaxes me. It soothes me. It gets me ready for sleep because I have a hard time sleeping. So anything that makes me nice and tired ready to go to bed and wake up early the next day, working more on stuff like this. Makes me very happy. All righty, peoples. I'm going to nonchalantly pull up Epic Outro music, and in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you all for joining me live once again on Twitch, people on YouTube. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. My name is Ken Lafferty. You guys have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow for Tutorial Tuesday. Until then, you guys take care. Until then, you guys take care. See ya.